Hello, hello, and welcome to my stackable iron farm concept video for the Village and Pillage update. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, with a new Village and Pillage update, the iron golem spawning mechanics have changed, and it takes five villagers to gossip to be able to spawn an iron golem. They also have to sleep once a day and use a workshop once a day in order for them to uh, do that. So I created this little idea here. Um, this one actually has one, uh, actually ten villagers in each one of these pods, and each one of these pods has two spawning platforms here. And this one, see how big this is? This has 100 villagers in it, so it's got ten pods. So I AFK'd on this little spot right here for about an hour, and I got a little over three stacks of iron, which is ridiculously low for big iron farms compared to you know 1.13 like the you know, Iron Titan or the Iron Phoenix or whatever. We can do a couple thousand an hour. This is only about 200, 250 an hour, so it's it's bad, but there is a way to make it faster, but I haven't figured that out yet, which is why I'm doing this video. If one of these villagers gets attacked and hurt by a zombie, it only takes two villagers to gossip to spawn a golem. Now there's ten in here and it takes five, so right now these can only spawn two at a time at the max. I haven't been able to figure out how to get my villagers to get attacked by a zombie without turning these into zombies or killing them and I, yeah I need some help with that let me show you how this all works real quick so this is the redstone uh, circuit that I designed now this is the only like the second redstone circuit I ever created so I'm sure it could be done a lot easier but this one is relies on these daylight circuits or day daylight detectors to start the circuit so when it becomes daylight um, right before dawn, when they're still able to go to bed, it's going to activate this piston and it's going to push this block over to that observer. And down here, this observer is going to activate that sticky piston, which is going to push that block down. It doesn't have to be a redstone one. That's just what I was using because you can see it pretty easy. It's going to push it in front of that observer, which is attached to a sticky piston on that side, which is going to push this redstone block over on top of these uh, redstone dust. And it's going to power these sticky pistons, which are on this side, and it's going to lift the villagers when they're standing here up so they can actually sleep and then when they wake up they're gonna only be able to spawn right here because this layer of glass is on top of the beds so they're gonna spawn right here and then it's gonna drop back down and then they can't go back to the beds until it pushes them up right before dawn so that's the entire idea of that so yeah this is the this is the thing here when it gets to uh, see this is nine redstone uh, signal strength of nine it's gonna do this other one so it's gonna pull it off of that off of that observer that block right there and that way, when they wake up, it's going to, you know, drop them back down. And then it, those thing is just going to reset the whole thing. So they cannot sleep until right before dawn again. And this is what each one of these little pods looks like. It's only eight uh, blocks high. And it's a seven by seven wide. Well, with the glass, it's seven by seven. So really, it's five by five inside. There is a big spot right here that is wasted space right now that I think could possibly be used to put a, a zombie in there to damage one or two of the villagers, but I haven't been able to figure that out yet. So that's why I'm asking you guys, if you could help me out and figure that out, maybe leave a uh, comment and, you know, if you figure something out, that's awesome. Let me know. I'll, you know, put a, another video together and show everybody how to build this thing. But yeah, I'm trying to make this as efficient as possible. This is a ginormous, ginormous tower with 100 villagers in there and it's only given three to three and a half stacks per hour. I would love that to be able to be a lot better. I mean, you could you could make a quite a bit of iron with this. I mean, you could, you know, you could go all the way up to the limit, all the way down to the, you know, Y level 6 and start it. You could put, you know, 6 or 7 in here so you can get a pretty good uh, rate of iron, but, I mean, that's going to be hundreds of villagers with this new mechanics. So, yeah, I'm asking for help. If you guys know anybody who you think would be able to figure that part out, please let them watch this video. Tell them to take a quick look at it. It's only going to be a couple-minute video. And uh, yeah, leave some comments and we'll try to figure out how to make this a little bit better. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.